So today we're going to be talking about replacing the VX102 tubing connector for the Versa dosing pump. So the first thing that we want to do if the tubing is in need of replacement, you're going to slide the front cover off of the pump and then you're going to move your tubing retainer. Once you have the retainer removed, it's very easy. You're going to grab the bottom portion here of the 102 connector and just work it kind of out and around the roller assembly. So once you have the old one removed, you can set that aside. And then next, what you'll want to do, you're going to take some of the grease that's supplied in the VX102 replacement kit. Uh, you do not need to use the whole tube. You don't want to use the whole tube, just a small dab um, in each of these points. So as you can see here, um, the pump is going to rotate in a clockwise motion based off the way it's designed. So you want to apply a small dab of grease on the forward side of each of the rollers. So if we're going to be greasing, we're going to want to put a small dab of grease on the roller here, another small dab right here where the screwdriver is pointing, and then again another small dab here, uh, and one more right here um, just for good measure to make sure that the pump is adequately greased before you go ahead and replace the tubing. So once the, um, the motor has been greased, you can take that tubing. I recommend to start by depressing the tubing at the top of the motor as it makes it a little bit easier. You can gently slide that in and work it around the roller. It's a little tricky. Once you have that worked around the rollers, you're going to want to make sure that the bottom portion where the quick connects are, are going to lock into place. And that these crimps on these clamps need to be facing upward. If they're not and you happen to have them like this orientation, the tubing and the connector is not going to sit properly. So you want to make sure these little crimps are actually pointing up once the tubing has been inserted. Once it has, try to make sure that the tubing gets pressed as far back as possible by hand. You can then install the retainer and slide your cover back on. Now, the only other thing that I want to make sure that I mention, um, changing tubing and the intervals. Um, you probably want to check the tubing maybe once a month or so to just check the overall condition. Um, it's going to depend how frequently that you change this or replace this kit based on the type of chemicals that you're dosing. So if you, you're dosing something that's a little more aggressive, um, that may cause the tubing to wear a little bit quicker, so it may need to be changed more frequently, and that will conclude the VX102 tubing replacement.